Alright. Alright, this is brought to you by yerbamatedrinker.com. Uh, I just wanted to show you how I do my mate, how I uh, prepare it. Um, I was uh, introduced to mate in Argentina about 10 years ago, and I've been drinking it ever since. It's wonderful. I have uh, coffee in the morning, and then I have your mate in the afternoon, so it helps me a lot. So what I do is, uh, you want to get the right water temperature, and what I do is I do it in a coffee pot. Just run your water through like you would coffee, and you get the perfect temperature for your water. And then uh, you just get yourself a thermos that uh, has an easy pour. I like this one because it's just a button pour. Okay, so we'll do this here. Get my water. I'll go through two thermoses with one quart full of mate. This is my favorite mate. This is uh, Rosa Mate, and it's basically Rosa Mate Gold, but they call it uh, Selection Especial. Uh, it's it's the best I've tried. I've tried many of them. This is the best tasting for me. I like it strong. Uh, I don't like it sweet. I don't put sugar in it. Some people just put sugar in it. Uh, this is a brand new bag. So I got a nice fresh mark. I'm going to open this up. Okay. Let's see. great smell to it. Now what you want to do here, I usually put this in, uh, when I get a brand new bag, I'll put it in a jar with a little top on it. I'll take a picture of that for the website later. Okay, so this here, you just pour in the fresh mate. As the bag gets, um, gets down here, you want to start shaking the bag every time before you pour. Okay, so here you want to tilt it like this. And then pour your water in on the side where you have the crevice. Like that. Okay. And you want that to sit for a minute. So we'll put that right like that. I don't need to see that. So what you want to do, you want that water to kind of seep into the, the into the yerba, which is the tea there. Okay. Now, while that's sitting, I'm gonna show you a couple of different bundillas or straws, whatever you want to call it. This is my favorite, I'll tell you that one in a minute. This one here, this is all right, because you can take this off here, and you can uh, open this up, and you can clean it. It's very important that you can clean this. You want to get a pipe cleaner, so you can stick the pipe cleaner in there and clean it. All right, this one here, we'll go ahead and put that back. But I don't really use this one that much. This one here, Okay, this is the worst kind of bill you can buy, in my opinion, because this does not come off, and if you get any kind of mold or mildew in here, you cannot clean it, and it's just, you just throw in the garbage. Okay, uh, let's keep this leaning on this one. This one is the best because you have this spring here, you can pull the spring out, and if you look, there's a bunch of holes right here, a hole in the bottom. Easy to clean with a pipe cleaner, and it's easy. It's a lot easier to keep clean, and it never clogs, from what I've experienced. Some of these things clog, and you can't sift the water out. Okay, so you just leave that like that there. All right, and then when your mate is ready, pour yourself a little more in there. Let's sit again, and I take this, and then you stick it down here, push it in the bottom, all the way to the bottom like that. And then you're ready to take your mate. Ah, yes. That is so good. That is delicious. Especially when it's a fresh bag. All right, so when you drink mate, um, you want to put your water in, let it sit for a minute. And when you sip, you sip it all the way. Like this. So you get that surface time at the end. And then you would pour it again pass it over to the person that you're with, and they would drink. So enjoy your mate. I know I do. Have a good day. Bye.